In other news, now Nigeria partially reopened its land borders after almost a year and a half of closure. This decision was intended at the time to combat smuggling and encourage local Nigerian production. This reopening came a surprise decision as was the announcement of the closure of the borders in August 2019. Details in this report. The commercial isolation ordered unilaterally without consultation had not been appreciated by Nigerian neighbors affected by the measure. It was a subject that came up often behind the scenes at every meeting of the region leaders. Nigeria could not keep its borders closed indefinitely, and this reopening was not a Christmas present. It came a few days before the entry into force of the African Continental Free Trade Area on January 1. Although the benefits of the border closure have been seemingly very slim, the reopening is only partial. The cross-border marketing of products such as rice and chicken, for example, remains prohibited. Business developer and serial entrepreneur Chris Imamolin says the policy framework may not favor some businesses. The, the policy has been made. The policy has been adjusted again. I, I think um, there is a good and bad to, to it. But, but of course, policy change often in a time like this does not really tell well to business environment, does not really encourage investors to want to invest in a nation. A lot of persons are careful in investing in those products that closure of border would have helped. The benefit of the measure has been to curb imports, notably via the port of Cotonou in Benin, such as rice and fuel, which were destined to the Nigerian markets. But for the time being, the Nigerian agri-food industry and oil refineries may have not improved their performance. I mean, a lot of investors came into rice farming in Nigeria. You know that out of the statistics of farmers that went into um, farming of rice and other products that usually were small good in from neighboring countries grew. And consumption of um, Nigerians for local rice also grew. And um, I think it was, it was, it was um, effective. And uh, I think if there is, a, even if with the reopening of the border, if there is um, um, a strong enforcement from um, our border patrol agencies, the custom and the rest of them. As Nigerians and indeed Africa welcome all the benefits derivable from the border reopening and indeed the new free trade area which is in force, the country has been advised to carry stakeholders along in its policy formulation. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.